Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Bros. Soup, soup. I eat too much soup. You did eat too much I soup. I eat too much soup. I'm addicted to soup. Oh, I need my soup. I need some soup. <laughs> what, <laughs> what happens when you eat too much soup? You strangle bait. That's exactly what happens. Speaking of strangle no, you baiting, pop. we've got Donnie the Diddler here. Hey guys. Donnie Not diddling the gymnast. Diddler O'Malley. <laughs> Donnie the Diddler. I mean, Whoa, you went limp, Donnie. You went limp on hey, that. Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah. You might have to pop in and, and help him with his mic, Jimmy. I know, just fucking there tighten it up. Is. Tighten it up. Tighten it you got to tighten that shit up, Donnie. There, you go. there it is. You're just stretching her out. Every time. <laughs> it's fine, you Diddler. <laughs> got it. Prop got it up. It. You got to get it close to your mouth, Donnie. How high okay. are you right now? On Bring the microphone to, to your mouth, not, not your bad. mouth to the microphone. I think I'm like a four out of ten. One to Chung, how high are you right now? Four. When, when I walked in, I s- it I smelled like I was at a Snoop Dogg concert. I, I just took a healthy rip. Well, why? <laughs> I told you not to do that. Very healthy. I told you to do I'm, this I'm, one. I'll do it too. That way it balances out Thank the sides you. of the table. Yes, Appreciate please it. do. Um, <laughs> Donnie, like, last time you were on the show, you were on an edible. <laughs> and you were losing your tits. No, yeah. We, we almost had sex. Yeah. You Wait, no, that? I did I Yeah, was you not? tried to have sex with me. Donnie. On the what, edible? What is, yeah. what is trying to have sex with you and I don't think I had exactly? an edible on, on the I show. I think it was just looking I at me. I think the second show I ever did, I was high. That was when there was a big gay thing. And you guys were like, certain the TV guys were gay. No, no, no. No, that, that guy came out on the show. The guy came out on the show. Who, Greg? He admitted it. Yeah. Who did? Greg? No, it wasn't Greg. It was wasn't Chris. It? Chris, yeah. Chris. Chris Michael, he's not gay. I don't know. Well, he's someone a fucking, came out no. on the show. He's a fucking poon hound. He's not gay. Well, yeah. uh, well yeah. he looks one gay. Locked, locked up now. He one of the guys really came out on the show, and, and it was fun. Like, it was fine. We enjoyed it. We had a good time with him. Um, yeah. Like, because we saw you guys kissing in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't know yeah, why yeah, you're yeah, trying yeah. to revise. No, no, it was Greg. <laughs> no, no, no. That was, so that was you and Greg, but then yeah. we saw him kissing another guy in the kitchen. They were giving each other <laughs> shoulder massages like on the stairs. Like squeezies. Yes, yeah, they were getting, I remember. I remember. He was, they he were was getting like a bunch uh, of squeezies. He was, in, he was straddling him. Yes. Yeah. He was giving him a massage. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I said, hey, man, not, nothing for not. Yeah. I mean, are you, are you, get, like, it's, if you're fine, it's fine if you're gay. Let me ask you this, goes, Donnie. Never say never. And I was like, yeah. That's not really an answer to, to that question. Actually, I don't you think know he said never gay. say no. I thought he said, um, maybe. Oh, that's right. Maybe he did. Yeah. yeah. Let, me, let yeah. me ask you this. Have you ever held another man's hard penis in your hand? Yes no. or no? I don't you believe have not? It. I don't believe that. I actually, I've, I've held, I've, I've I've held limp. Limp? Yeah. But yeah. that's like, we've all done no, that. No, I, yeah. I hold hard. You, you hold, hold hard? hard? Yeah. How many At, hold hards have you had? Do you hold it like you're holding hands with it? 16? Really? Yeah. How? How and where? How do you hold hard and where? Movie theaters mostly. Oh boy! Like through the popcorn what? bucket, or is it not just true. out? What? It's just, it's, it can't be just out in the theater. Why not? Come on! You man. sit in the back. Come on! That's you not you drape sit a, in the yeah, back. Sure, drape a jacket. But I've or you go to the matinee. There's nobody there. I've done that. You yeah. never just have. You know, your friend never just ran up to you like, oh, I got a boner. You're like, ah, yeah, the boner. No, no, not, <laughs> literally not one time in my entire life. And you keep <laughs> holding it until it comes just yeah, to make him feel like a weird. fucking loser. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's just like a, it's like a fist bump. You're just like, ah, that's funny. No, it's not like a bear, a no. bear gramming a, a salmon out of the a stream. No, it's like, just a quick. It's like less than five seconds. You just ah. No, it's no, pretty you don't quick. Do you don't look wait. Is that is that the real five second rule? Yeah. Like you can grab a hard I dick. I mean, I'm not like five staring him less. in the eyes, like, good for you. I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. like, I'm laughing at the boner. Like, it's a funny little thing that yeah. he's playing with. Oh my God. Like, oh. it's like a dildo from the store. Yeah. Like, yeah, look at that fucking thing. <laughs> it's the same game that Michael Jackson used to play. Like, hey, we're having a fun time, right? Just grab it. <laughs> grab it. Grab it. Once. Probably. That's probably actually how it's oh, oh, <laughs> You know, just grab it once. Yeah. yeah. If you add cheer wine to this Luke Belair, that's pretty much what he was feeding those <laughs> yeah, kids. Yeah, it was. Welcome to that Jesus juice, brother. Um, Donnie, welcome to the show. You got a you got a huge movie out right now. Got a big movie out. Yeah, really fucking big. Huge. Actually, yeah, huge. huge. Tell in, everybody in, the name in, of it. In length. In uh, length. Yes. In huge. length. Yeah, yeah that length. too. What actually. about girth? Coming up on an hour and fifty four minutes. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> no, okay, slow it down, buddy. <laughs> hour fifty four. So a grunt's life. <laughs> yeah, a grunt's life. Um, it, it's a uh, kind of a redo of the show, mm-hmm. um, repackaged to be told in the in the in a, the story of a movie. Proper format. Proper format, although yeah. it's not like I felt, totally proper. I felt it yeah. was much For like As a writer delivered. now, looking back at it, yes. I'm like, oh, that doesn't follow the format. It was much better delivered but, as, a, as a movie. But than the it show. works because yeah. sure. it, it, it moves the story forward, keeps you entertained every scene, and uh, it gives all the grunts and all the sick fucks the, yeah. the sense of humor that, uh, that they've never had in a military story. So now, he just watched it. He fucking loved it, man. Mm-hmm. Thank right. you. And thank I think you. you guys had a premiere last night, right? 
how was it? How was the response? Oh, it was great. It, it was fantastic. They fucking giggled their asses off. Yeah, it was a crowd full of grunts, a bunch of 80 seconds. Yeah, so of course, the worst grunts. times that, you don't, that a normal human wouldn't expect people to laugh at, they were laughing. Yeah. I heard a rumor that your dick is actually out in this movie. A it lot. is. It is. Yeah. A lot? Yeah, I wouldn't say a lot. Uh, there's full frontal male nudity. Yeah. No, I, no shame that shit. Two times. Yeah. Fucking dangle that. You can pull it out here. Ray Cash pulled his dick out on here. That's oh, true, yeah. God. Ray Cash put, put his dick like a fucking, maybe, maybe a seal. foot from my face. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I yeah. was, yeah, I laughed. Maybe what inspired that? that? Uh, we, talk, we were talking about shaving. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. We were if talking about gonna, shaving. How how much you should properly shave down there, when and where? Yeah. And he was like, "Man, I go full fucking fulcrum." Yeah. And he pulled out full his, fulcrum. Yeah. 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 By yeah, the way, where, that's where you. That's where you. He, I will say this: once great. every nine hours. Yes. You great. air your entire body. Great shave. And once you do that for forty-eight days, your body starts to adapt to being hairless. Mm -hmm. You get a different kind of smooth. <laughs> Think it over, Donnie. I gotta yeah, Donnie. try it. Donnie, you should try it. Yeah. 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 Donnie, try it. Yeah. Donnie, try it. I, I'd be into it. We actually have razors on the set. Uh, Donnie, can we get you to shave your pubes in front of us and then uh, Jared will narrate it? <sighs> After the show, obviously. No, I mean during. Oh, I, you want to go during? Let's go a full two hours of, of you shaving. Of just and, slow shaving? Yeah. 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 We have, I mean, we, we have all the Set it to slow ones. music. Yeah. Ooh. We will? No. Yes. Hey, by yeah. the way, Ray Cash told us a story when he was at Bud's. He could make himself come without using his hands. Yes, crazy. When he story was ever. a what? When he was at Buds, oh, yeah. Yeah. like in the Buds class, some he had like some people had known him from before and told the instructors that he could do that, and they were like, "Hey, let's see it. Come on, guy." So he's in a room with like thirty dudes in Buds, right? So it's towards the end of the fucking class, yeah. And he just like puts unzips, take like pulls his pants down to his ankles, puts his hands behind his head, and just like concentrates and then comes. And he still he can still do it to this yeah. day. He says. That's amazing. That, that is that is mind power right there, isn't it? Yeah. Th that's so, strength of willpower. Is that guy an entrepreneur now? <laughs> he's a he's a motivational speaker. I which let's face it, it, is there anything more motivational yeah. than that? No, probably not. Obviously, this guy has a gift. Yeah, yeah. He, he shares his cars. gift with the world. Yeah, well, sell he cars. He, yeah. he pulled it out on the show. Yeah. So I mean, he should okay. be like a Ferrari salesman. Uh, I don't. I don't know how a, a you know making yourself come leads to selling Ferrari. I think you should work you for the can Church of Scientology. Convince your dick to come with mm -hmm. your mind. You can convince somebody to buy a Ferrari or a vacuum. Ah, Ferraris and vacuums are basically the same thing. I mean, they're both overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> vacuums are. Yeah. How cool. much is a vacuum? A rainbow. Oh, Electrolux man. is the yeah. that's the best one. A Hoover. Out there. They're like at least three hundred. Uh, Auric. <clears throat> really? The old rainbow and Auric. It's how like six so hundred dollars. Yeah. For the starter package. You never had a vacuum salesman come into your house and do all your floors? Not once. Whenever Talk door about the blender attachment <clears throat> that they have for the goddamn Not thing? Whenever time. whenever door-to-door huh. -door salesman or Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons come to my house, I'm like, come on in, buddy. Yeah. We're going to have a nice little chat today. Let's go down, yeah. this, let's go down this road. I'm going to ruin your life today, my friend. Yeah. I go back into my room, change into something a little more comfortable, and then come back out. Yeah. And, and so give, I, give them a lesson. It means one sock. Yeah. 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 And it's not on my dick. It's on one foot. Yep. <laughs> have, haven't you gotten someone to convert from being religious? Yeah. A number of times. Yeah. But I don't really care if people are religious or not. It was just kind of like a, a challenge to do it. You know? Yeah. Just make them question. So sorry, guy, if you go to hell or whatever, but it was funny. But you convinced him there is no hell. So Yeah, but not if, if hell is real, which I don't think it is, but if it's real, then not believing in it is not going to save you. <laughs> it's like... It's like not believing in gravity and jumping off the fucking Empire State Building. That's yeah. just going to get you. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's going to catch yeah. up to you. And it's a, sneaky, it's a sneaky whisker. It really is. It looks like we've got a new addition to the set over there, too. Can we see this in the wine? Yeah. Are we able to what? see uh, Eric Estrada over there? Yeah. Eric Estrada. Yeah, you do. Look at that. Oh, mm. yeah, he's looking, he's looking yes. fine. We switched him out for Fletch uh, this go. week. Yeah, Fletch, that's, a, that's Fletch, you know. Fletch has had his time. And then we need to get that yes. campaign poster up here soon. Well, oh, yeah. it is. So we, we just got the uh, buttons back today. You got the buttons? We got the buttons. Are, are, are We're ready ordered. for December 3rd. Yes, and uh, the shirts will all ship Have December 3rd. Have you received coming any up this week. threats? Uh, no, but I, I will say this. there was a, we, a, a challenger announced his another guy threw his hat into the ring. Oh, that's um, going to be fun. Yeah. So I don't, well, I don't know his Well, story. now you're challenging three seats, right? Yes. So... There, there will be three of us running for three open seats. Yeah, the last time there were four open seats, and every all four of the incumbents got booted. Yes. So we, the, now he, there's three, and this guy. So he, this guy went early, and he said, "Hey, he called the news, and he did a proper press release and all that stuff, and uh, he just said, look, 
you know, obviously December 3rd, I will be turning in my paperwork and I'm, I'm going to be this and here's my website and all this shit. And I was like, ah, I like it. Do you guys get a website? I like it. No, we're, we're working on all of that now. Listen, I, all week we should be shooting photography. We are. And yeah, we are. So the, it, it, at first it, we had to get all the buttons and t-shirts ordered and all that stuff. Like that takes a while. Mm. Um, so they just got proofed. And, uh, the do you think, do you think the, the, the seats Tuesday. that you're running against, are they going to really actively try and campaign to keep their spot? Look, we're running like a national level campaign for some dumb school board race. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So no, they're well, not, it's not going dumb to, do that. to me, but um, yeah. obviously well, I, when I say dumb, I mean, it's like very small in relation to the, the amount of effort that the we're putting level. into it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then salaries I looked up as well. So like I got a form for salaries. I, I at first didn't understand why people were senators and governors and all that shit. And so I looked at how much money they were making and I was like, oh, well, you're kind of making as much as a fucking doctor here. If you're governor of North Carolina, you make $150,000. Not bad for doing what? Nothing. Just sitting there, kind Go- of governing. I believe governing. governing. Yeah. It's in the title, uh, and the senators get one seventy five k. Oh, so man. Like, it's starting to make sense why. Because we were talking about this, why people become career politicians, mm-hmm. and it's like, yo, if I can make one hundred seventy five grand every year, I mean, again, a, that's what a doctor or a lawyer makes. So, like, what's the fucking? And you don't actually don't have to senators do get a pension too? Yes, it depends on how long they've so been in office. I thought you. Serve. I thought one of them. You just like you hit a certain number of years, and then you're set for life. Well, it's it's no 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 no. It's it's uh, rated just like any other job. So if you okay. work a certain number of years, you get an X percentage of whatever the fuck. But it's not like okay, you don't get taken care of for life just because you now. served yeah. one term. At any rate, I was really bitter. What's the moment. what's the pay? You? Yeah, why? Because I just thought, what fucking what a scam. I I remember thinking, what if you just treated it kind of like an entrepreneurial endeavor? Like I just got to invest into one campaign and be successful. Oh yeah. And get my do my two years, and I'm set for life. Like, what's the well, no, a lot of a lot of people run investment. presidential campaigns just so they can write a book about, like Herman Cain, for example. That dude knew he wasn't ever. You remember him? The mm-hmm. oh, the black yeah, dude that yeah. he was a pizza overlord. Uh, but they what, actually the put fuck? him in yes. Trump's cabinet. Yeah, so he was he Trump was a, put him in his cabinet. He was the CEO wow. of a pizza company or some shit, and he ran for office just so he could write a book about it. Was it was a big pizza company. He's worth millions of dollars. So. Oh, yeah, he's rich as shit. Yeah. Do you remember that ad of him, like, slowly turning into the camera and, like, smiling and nodding his head? You, you, yeah. Mike Tyson redid it. You should go look it up. It's mm-hmm. fucking funny as shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so how much uh, How much are we going to well, make on the school Here's a big board? question. Uh, go ahead. Is Vet TV going to uh, produce a campaign commercial for Holloway and Patterson for 2020? Oh, uh, that'd be great. Tell me more. Yes. They're running for the school board. So we're running for the school board here in uh, New Hanover County. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, no, this no, is hundred percent real. Give them, uh, give them, give them why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So my, my look, I, we always say the same thing on this show. If you're fucking pissed off about who's running for governor, president, whatever, do something about it and fucking run. <laughs> right? I, I don't because I, I don't give a shit. But like who, who's in and why? Right? The only reason you're going to get them out, or the only way you're going to get them out is by running and doing it yourself if you want to actually make the change that you always bitch about. So a couple people from high school of mine, uh, friends of mine, ran for local shit last year, and I saw it pop up, and then there's this bullshit redistricting thing here in, in New Hanover County that's going on. And the more and more I learned about like the backwoods politics of it, it was filthy, and it's a fucking small town. Corrupt. You're corrupt. And Nothing like, is more corrupt than small town politics. I didn't know that, hmm. though. But I, I, I genuinely, because I was like, towns are it, of this size... Why? Why? Why would people do it? And then you realize why they would do it. So there's a guy currently named Bill Rivenbark who's on the fucking board. He's like six. My guess is sixty-five to seventy. I don't know his age. Um, but when the when they were up for redistricting our schools, his magically got in, and he's like a mile and a half south of me. And his neighborhood has never been in. They took mine out. I live one point six miles from my elementary school and one point eight from the middle school. And I'm just like, so now I've got to drive past the elementary school. To get to the new one, this motherfucker, Bill Rivenbark, is going to have to drive past my neighborhood to get to my fucking school. And I'm like, no, this isn't happening. Not on my watch. Then they got popped for the redistricting committee. Uh, had 14 people. All of them were white. There was a couple black parents in the audience that bitched at the first meeting. So they hired one black person, which was mighty, mighty fucking And she was like 80 them. years old. <laughs> yeah, she's 86 years old and she's retired. And it was no like, kids. No, well, she has well, kids, but not kids, in school, but, right? She's like senile. They're just like coaching her. It's like, hey, say I this. don't know, man. It's so <laughs> fucked up. Um, and then there's somebody else on the board who is uh, trying to flip one of the schools because they help lawyers um, and real estate and shit like that. So they're trying to get the real estate money and all of it's fucking filthy. Uh, the one guy, his brother, 
is on the board, so he ran off a name recognition. Rivenbark. Rivenbark. So all yeah. you have to do is put your fucking name in there, and then a bunch of people leaked us like emails and text messages shit from all of them. I'm getting those confirmed now. I have no reason not to believe that they aren't real, but I'm going to use those and everything else, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to expose everything that goes on on a school board, and we'll get to talk about it live on air. The weirdest thing about it was when, when I talked about this originally, it was our second highest downloaded episode of the year. We've had a million fucking celebrities on this goddamn show, but that one was it. Everybody wrote in. They were like, dude, this is happening in my community. Mm. I'm pissed off about it. I wanted to do it, but I didn't think it was possible. Well, going through the steps of it, it is possible. And anybody can do it for 50 fucking dollars. That's the fee. $50 check fee. You sign out where you live. Uh, you fill out the information. And then you can run. And that's it. Um, what I did hear, though, is it's Republican and Democrat, which I wasn't psyched about. Because I, I feel that on a school board... It should be politics. Why, yeah, why free. would that be a partisan? It does, yeah, it doesn't thing make any sense at all. So, mm. you know, there was some Democrats on the board that were against. We we wore these shirts to the meeting, which a woman in our, our neighborhood made that said, uh, <laughs> uh, "Protect our neighborhood schools." And the Democrats, I guess, on the board were like, "We hate we hate the phrase neighborhood schools because then you're just limiting yourself to whatever neighborhood is by your school." And it was like, "Motherfucker, that's why I bought the house where I bought the house. <laughs> if I could live anywhere I wanted, I." Shit, man, I'd live on 90 acres out in the middle of goddamn nowhere and just magically choose my school. But that's not the fucking world. Um, so the fact that there is politics in that, there's seven seats on the board with a third. And we'll see who else is running. We'll be able to, to take almost the majority within the first year. And then there'll be another re-election in two years. And then we'll get the rest of these motherfuckers out. Yeah. So, so at that point, you invite local drinking bros to run against them. 100%. There's and a then lot. you snowball the whole thing. And then you're just like, ha, 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 ha. We're going to yeah. run Mel and Sean Streeter for fucking New Hanover County School Board as well. Yeah. There you go. So uh, little by little, we'll get that whole board out and then leave it up to the parents at that point. Like, hey, man. What do you guys uh, want? Yeah. What, what do you guys want to do? What do the teachers want to do? Because all of this is it's bullshit. And uh, for it to come down to political things or real estate or what you're going to gain out of it, like Bill Rivenbark, this motherfucker gains his, his neighborhood gets to shoot up in prices. Yeah. He's old as shit. I, he's probably I, looking to retire and, and wants to get rid of his property. Now he's going to be able to put on Zillow that he's in this, the best school district. Yeah. His prices will jack up. I feel like, like I feel like if you're in a position like that, you should rec recuse yourself from the debate yeah. entirely. Like you if, shouldn't be in like, it. Like, hey – if, if this change that you guys are proposing happens, I'm going to make a lot of money, so I'm not going to vote. That's what I would do. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. No, that's the right that's, thing to and do. Then the, and then the last thing was they brought in a guy from, uh, to, to make the decision from the state of Ohio. Matthew Cropper. Matthew Cropper is his name, um, who is probably in a witness protection program right now. I saw that you deleted your Facebook and Twitter and fucking Instagram, Matthew. Um, still going to use that number and keep coming, brother. Uh, and he dance. graduated from Ohio State, too, you fuck. We're favored, <laughs> by, we're favored by 53 Oh, today. Matthew, we're going to fucking get you. I'll be there in a couple weeks, my man. So hopefully you're at that Penn State game or the national championship, wherever. I get tickets to every fucking goddamn thing on the planet. Either way, when he was at the board, and I said, hey, I was looking at the maps with him. We got one chance to speak with this fucking guy. I go, hey, man, I, my neighborhood, like, this doesn't make sense. I live the closest geographically to both of these schools. The neighborhood's been in there for 18 years since, since it opens. Like, this doesn't make any sense. And he goes, uh, could you show me on the map where your neighborhood is? And I was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know where your neighborhood is. And I was like, you ever been to this city? No, I haven't. And I was like, H how are you doing this then? And he's like, oh, it's just geographical data and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, go in traffic. Go to every fucking neighborhood. Drive to the schools. Do all that shit. And uh, he was like, well, uh, you know, you, you can give me the feedback, uh, you know, through, a, through an email. And I was like, or a survey. And I was like, no. No. No, that's not how this works. Nobody, so nobody responded to an email. Nobody res responded to a survey. And so I go, what about your number? And he goes, oh, yeah. I welcome feedback. And I was like, great, because we got a show about 6.4 million. So um, he's, he's like, oh, a radio show? I was like, oh, it's a podcast. And I got like that knowing like smirk, wink, wink. And I was like, hey, brother, we are much bigger than radio shows now. Yeah. Um, so he goes, yeah, I welcome that feedback. So I dropped his number live on air about eight different times. And uh, – that number um, got burned to the ground. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that number you works anymore. You guys are anymore. literally shaping society. It's not, it's not that, but it's just doing you're, what's You're holding right. people accountable. Yeah. Yes, that's like, it. Because you're rallying all the guy drinking bros to be so part of He's it. in Ohio. He's he in Ohio. lives in Ohio? Proper, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he lives in Ohio. He doesn't, doesn't even live here in the state of North Carolina. And the whole school board ran on like, oh, transparency. We want to run on transparency. Yeah, we want more money back in here. our schools. They paid this motherfucker six figures to be here. That money could have gone back into the schools. 
and he's out of state. He doesn't even know where the fuck we live. So and a guy from out of state is going to make decisions for our kids. He can get fucked. Matthew Cropper at GIS, you can get fucked. Um, either way, this isn't going to stop. I want to visit. Gonna keep I want to visit worse him. Over and over again. He's in Ohio. His office is in Ohio. He has um, an office. What is an office? office? Uh, I, I don't know the address. I, I don't. No, have I mean like him. like what office of what? I guess of him. I don't. I don't know. No, we should visit. I Ross, don't know. We should. Ross, visit. you are so hot right now. Thank you, Donnie. You you yeah. you just looked. You looked at that camera with an intensity like you were ready to throw hands. I hate a lot of people and uh, <laughs> it takes yeah, a lot. one of them. It takes We've, a lot the, to, for me to go. Yeah, the, the, funny, the, turned up. the funny thing it's about got, all this is little, that uh, we've been going nervous. so hard that we went to a school board meeting about a month ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. And the guy who is the chairman of the redistricting committee walked up to us as we were leaving. He's like, hey, you guys need to calm down a little bit. We're like, no. The beauty of that was I only called his name on Ross Patterson Revolution. And that show's only got 1.8 million. And I go, look, man, I drop your name on the 6.4. It's over. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how all this shakes out. But either way, uh, January 3rd, we are having a chili cook-off here. I'm sorry. Uh, December 3rd, we're having a chili cook-off here at the studio. We're doing a live show. Everybody's welcome to come. Uh, w the winners get free campaign items and shit like that. Uh, T-shirts will be ready to ship on December 3rd to everybody across the country. And the buttons just got approved. And they're... On my way to my house. Look at that. Uh, I wonder if I can hold this up in the camera. How tight do you think that is, Jamie? Uh, just off, off of the dam. Can you see that? Uh, you know, the buttons. It, it looks like every other campaign button yeah. ever. Yeah, but I'm just proud that, it's, that all this is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems real now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's all real. Once and you get a button, here. it's all yeah. fucking real. Yeah. I mean, I want to take <laughs> flyers to all the school board, current school board. Once you ride door. up Troy's bucket... It's all over now, so yeah. the Goonies are here, brother, and you're not going to take our fucking houses away. And the best part of this whole thing is that this is all a movie to be written and produced at some point in the future. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> the fucking, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. So um, it'll be fun, and look, it's a once a month meeting. We'll get to tell everything that goes on at these fucking things on the show. This is is literally some something that everybody exposed yeah. 2020. You, yeah, if you want to talk about transparency, we're going to put this information out to a shitload of people yeah. after every single meeting. So be, well, care, be careful what you say. Be yeah, careful. like don't don't try to come me with some kind of fucking good old boy bullshit. Like, hey, you know, if we do it this way, we'll all do better. Like, fuck you. It's yeah, not about, it's not about you, and yeah. it's not about me, bitch. And we don't yeah. we don't need money. So like, I don't need any <clears throat> fucking backwoods handshakes for shit. Like, it, what is that? What is that going to do for me? You know. Um, I mean, Jared could be dry, bribed with McDonald's, but that's about it in this world. Yeah, and but I, it doesn't go for long because I finish it fast. But it was funny. On that last episode, I go, God forbid Jared move here. That's all yeah. three. Um, but uh, I go in mayor. Yeah. Well, mayor just ran, right, two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah so you that got means I got some time to prepare. A couple years. You yeah. do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, let me ask you this since we're talking about McDonald's. McRib, have you had some? Yeah, they're, they're two back for $6. Right? It's right back, now. yeah. How many, how many times have you gone to McDonald's for McRibs in the last, let's say, month? 30. 30 times in the last month. So yeah. one per day. About. I, I can, uh, I can which, attest to this, actually. Which meal, You're, which meal of the real. day is it? I generally get a McRib in the morning and then a couple of McRibs yes. in the afternoon. And I mean, by the way, I can attest to this. Like, in case you think it's bullshit, every time I'm with you, it's usually about 10, 1030. You start getting real fucking antsy. Mm -hmm. And then we hit the, hit the drive. Have you ten. been in... 1030 is the lunch breakfast change over at McDonald's. Correct. Have you been in a car with him on the way to dinner somewhere? Well, and actually, he's, they're going full 24 hours now. But yeah, they are. A yeah. lot of them are. Have you been in a car with him on the way to dinner and he stopped at a fast food place to get pre-dinner? Yes. Uh, I also have been in a car with him at uh, t 10 a.m. And, and waited for the Whataburger to switch over where they were getting uh, chicken sandwiches instead of breakfast. So we waited in the parking lot. Do you remember that? Do you want to defend yourself? No. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a defense. You are who you are, Jared. You are who you are. Uh, Donnie, we were, the story we told about you on the show the other day was there was uh, re a really hot girl um, uh, who had chatted with us. And she was more. like, your friends are weird, man. And I was like, why? What's, what's going on? She was like, ah. She was like, I was, I was staying at, at, at their house. And I guess you have a lot of rooms or wherever you guys were staying was a lot of rooms. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah. this was, one guy yeah. it was very bashful that, yeah. yeah, it was very, very, very sheep. He's, he's trying to home. figure out my, what, what stories I, yeah. have to come out. Racing. No, this is, actually, this is actually a good one. I caught something in my throat. It's actually a good one. So this is uh, this one dude's like, hey, you want to fuck? And the girl was like, no, I kind of I kind of just want to fuck Donnie. Like, I want to fuck Donnie. But it was like <laughs> nine or nine thirty in the morning. 
And uh, and he was like, oh, well, Donnie's upstairs. You can go upstairs and, and see you, whatever, right? So this, I've seen this girl. She's a smoke show. Walks up the stairs, goes into your room, and tries to get in bed with you. And she's like, hey, do you want, you want, you want sex? And you were like, what time is it? She was like, oh, 9, 9.30 or whatever. And you were like, no, no, it's too fucking early for that. And you, that was it. You were like, get out of the bed, and I need you to leave my fucking space. No, 9.30 in the morning is too early for you. So the question hard, is, yes. Yes or no? <laughs> uh, to it happening? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember it. No, no. <laughs> I thought she said that he told her he was too busy for that right now. <laughs> Either way, it's 9.30 in the morning. You were sleeping, and you, were, you, you could not be bothered, this girl said. Or, and yeah, I was don't, like, don't bother me. Don't right bother me. Right. And so I go, <laughs> I asked this girl. So I, I asked this girl, and I go, so what did you do? And she was like, eh, I had to fuck his friend. You know, I just I needed it, so I did it. And I was like, all right, well. Uh, next time Donnie's on the show, I'll tell him that he missed out. Cause what? Yes. Yeah, this happened. My heart is is aching like I just lost out on love. Your, your heart is aching like you're wearing a fucking stupid tank top over your sweatshirt. I like yeah. that tank top. <laughs> yeah, when it's we a first sick look, bro. When I first like about? a fucking football jersey. I need to when figure I, out who this was. Man. When I first <laughs> when I first pulled up this morning, I thought you were wearing like a bulletproof vest. I'm like, this neighborhood's not that bad. Donald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all gentrified. There were like two unpainted houses. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Uh, there's a night. There's a brand new hot dog store right behind us. Yeah, yeah I we know. Partook. We crushed three of them. Yeah, Charlie Granger's. The place yeah, is good. Yeah, it's a great um, spot. What's uh, it is. What's with the uh, the whole attitude towards this girl? Like, you don't sleep. You, what do you sleep until noon? Are you a nooner guy? Um, I don't know how yeah, recent this was. How could you turn was? such a beautiful I don't woman know. down? I'm I'm racking my brain and to... then push her off to one of your dirt bag buddies. friends. Yeah. Oh man, because like, you know the who, guy... was, who was slurping up them scraps. <laughs> yeah, you I know can... it was Greg or Fernando just out there like. <laughs> yeah, I confirm with the guy and the guy. I go, does that happen a lot? And he goes, Oh yeah, man, we're always we're always kind of fighting for Donnie's leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> shit. Donnie's got it like that, dude. I, I have to um I have to make sure that they keep coming around, and I got to give them a reason. Just every now and then, I gotta, yeah, you know, sacrifice. Yeah, it's really sacrificing the for, the, for the greater good. Um, <laughs> now, do you team. have a do you have team a, effort here, guys? <laughs> do you have a V sec? Are you wearing condoms? What's going on there? Oh, I'm I'm no. He does a, he does an oatmeal dip. What's that? What's it clogs that? up your dick hole. Well, so. the, yeah, oh, right yeah, before, yeah. right before you just do a full hard dip into yeah, yeah. brown sugar, maple brown sugar oatmeal. Oatmeal, yeah. <laughs> now and is that good? It's it's it clumpy halts. in there. Is that, ho- is, is, that is that is that homemade? <laughs> is that homemade in steel cut or is it just out of the package? No, that's yeah, that's 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 the, the Quaker, microwave Quaker, kind. yeah, yeah, yeah microwave. Right you just package. Little bit of water, tiny bit of almond milk. You get that consistency rolling. You want it to be thicker. Then you go full hard, and you just kind of fucking roll. Yeah, and no pregnancy. Well. You heard it here yeah. first, Quakers. Yeah. And Quakers on your dick. Quakers oats. Your dick skin looks great syrup. too. Yeah, like yeah. It, your your dick skin looks smooth. like a five year old's dick. Yeah. Thank it you. Really does. I, it's you know I try to keep it. I do. I do protect. I wrap up better than I ever have in my life. Really? Like my life depends on it. That's the. Wasn't that after a yeah. conversation you and I had before yeah. spring break in yeah. San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? He used to have a. He used to have a yearly ritual. Um, Until I scared the shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? Never again. It's not worth you're it. You're not going to get tested anymore is what you're saying? Oh, no. Like, I'm, 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 never, I'm never going inside of a woman without a condom ever again. What was the, the thing that you thought you had? No, oh, no, nothing. That wasn't it. Was it. We were just scared of pregnancy. We had a long oh, conversation. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, as yeah. I told him, you're a business owner now. Yeah. Your your raw dog spring break weekends need to need to. Why don't Why don't you just get a fucking vasectomy, dude? No, because I want kids. Oh yeah, just not pre- now. I right. see. I right. want I want to I want to go hard with my business goals and my my movie goals until like forty. Yep. And then That's I like want to eight months from now. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty one guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, and, a lot of uh, winks. <laughs> and so then I want to take a year off, travel the world on like yachts and shit, and then get back into uh, to work and, and, and filmmaking again, and uh, then have a family. And by forty eight, I'll settle down with yeah. a, a prime twenty two year old. Let's <laughs> get <gonna say, laughs> yeah. real nice young girl. Because I, I, I thought about you yesterday on Entertainment Tonight. Chrissy Brinkley just got divorced to her husband. Right? She's sixty six. Right? She's sixty six. The husband's sixty three, I believe. Um, he just got reengaged um, after that divorce, real quick. 
She is 20 years old. Um, <laughs> oh, The daughter yeah. he has with Christy Brinkley is 21. So he didn't want to come public with it because oh, his daughter is yeah. older than his new fiance. That is amazing. That is what I see happening to you. They went to That's elementary life. school together, I think. That's life. Uh, truth be told, I don't want that to happen. But if it does, say la vie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> They love me. You know what, though? I know, here's, here's how I see that, though. Like, at no point, if I'm 60 plus years old and I'm dating a 20 year old or I'm engaged to a 20 year old or I'm married to a 20 year old, that brings me a lot of unwanted insecurity and anxiety because I always will question does she actually like me? And, you know, no, the, the answer you know, is no, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the answer is yeah. But it doesn't always. matter. No. That is a mutually beneficial situation. Like, you're right. Hey, you're just right. understand what am I it? talking about. I just accept it. I think, though, that, that, that Donnie could be the I before E, like the, the exception of the rule here, and here's why. Well, he would be the exception. Because I am, will exactly, always yeah, be 16 years old at heart. No. You're only six years old at heart? 16. 16. There is yeah. a new fetish called daddies out there. Oh, oh that's yeah, a big that's I don't like that. Older that's man. Huge. But here's the thing. You're I in good like shape. That. So Dennis Quaid. That came from Mexico, actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And Dennis Quaid just. Uh, Wait, and, what? What? Yes. Yeah. It what? came. Da the, daddy, the daddy fetish came well, from Mexico. From Mexico, yeah. In Mexican culture, like young 20 to 25 year old girls like 50 or 50 year old. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. We uh, live in San Antonio. You never Dennis Quaid just got engaged to a 26 year old. I didn't wow. date anyone from San Antonio oh, okay. because it's gross there, Jerry. All right. Well, I've lived in There's El Paso. There's so much in inspiration in the world. You remind me of Dennis Quaid. That's why. Like same body type, oh, same everything. Yeah. You're like a. You're like a. Like a. That's serious. Okay. Eight, eight, oh no! Eight. I was gonna say Randy Quaid. Yeah, Randy no, Quaid. You're Randy Quaid, my man. What? Yeah, that's I'm not Randy Quaid. <laughs> We're the Quaid brothers. You're, you're the Quaid. I mean, I'll be. I'll be Randy Quaid. I'm <laughs> down. <laughs> I'm fine with that. As long as. As long as we can make a. You could make me a deal right now. Okay. We're gonna shake on it. Not before when you he finally, tells you this. When you find, yes, yeah, Donnie. Yeah, shake on it first. Yeah. Well, no, I was yeah. ready. Yeah. Donnie, you're, you're, a hand. you're a terrible businessman, you Donnie. Find what the hell? right here. Get, a foot distance. Get your first girl pregnant. You and I are going to share a bowl of Lucky Charms with her breast milk. Oh, God. You already shook on that, Donnie. Yeah, so you did. going back. Uh, we have video That sounds of it. actually hella funny. I'd be down. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, not because I want to. I just want to see him squirm. So yeah, I've so tasted it. It's disgusting. You're, yeah, you're I'm both, gonna, you're, I'm gonna pour sugar in it. You're yeah. both Randy Quaid. What? <laughs> like Dennis Quaid would never agree to that. No, nah, it's Dennis and Randy. I, no. I, Come on. Hey, you know Dennis Quaid for a while was doing what three grams of cocaine a day. D Quaid. Yeah. Could he, Randy eat three wow. hot dogs before breakfast was over? Randy yes. eats three hot dogs every day before breakfast is over. Follow his Twitter. Oh, he's hiding is from he the government still, right yeah, now. Yeah, he's it's still the greatest of all time. He's up in Canada. It's he super hasn't paid weird. taxes in like he's twelve in, years. He's like a camper somewhere. Just hanging out. <laughs> like, you can't find me, bitch. Yeah. He's like can't. he's like uh, Osama bin Laden, but for fat retards. And we'd love to have him on the show. So, Randy, if you're out there, you know, you come on the Randy, show. Let's, let's get together. Let's, let's get the real story out. Yeah, let's I'll get... put on a wife beater and spill a bunch of shit all over it and come hang out with you. Yeah. Hey, speaking of that, you know the new Broncos coming up. So, I was, I'm, I've been thinking about trading in my, my Jeep to get a new car. I have a Jeep Cherokee. And uh, I was going to get a Range Rover because I, I like them. And I was going to lease it because then I don't have to deal with any of the bullshit. You can write it off on, on a company, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's all sorts of stuff. But Ross let me know the other day that apparently the Broncos coming back out in March. March. Yeah, yeah March, yeah. And I don't so, know if you can see that jersey behind you. Boom. Does he get a white Bronco? And get the license plate not OJ. Because here in North Carolina. He didn't Carolina, do it. Yeah, well, he's still looking for the real killers, but um, I hope he finds them. I did, too. No, they're actually a band now. The, the real yeah, they're called the Killers. <laughs> no, that they've been a band for how, like twenty five yeah, yeah, years. How, they how all live in Vegas. Genius would that be? They all live if in Vegas. It was them the whole time. Like they came out like on twenty twenty in like five years. Like yeah, we did it. We did Nicole. Well, there's no we're the Killers. There's no statute of limitations on murder, unfortunately. <laughs> damn it! Really? Yeah, you can. What get, if they you can always turn get tried for that? In, you know? God damn it, man! That's rape. Sucks. On the other hand, seven years in most states. Huh. That's wild. So that's you just got wild. like that's probably why Randy Quaid's in Canada right now. Yeah, and I, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's some other reasons. <laughs> too, like, uh, <laughs> mm, I've been trying all week to find decently priced tickets off of uh, Spirit Airlines to Bikini Bottom, but they just don't have them. Wait, Spirit Airlines, all, all of their stuff is decently priced because. Yeah. You're probably going to die on the flight. Yeah, but I can't find anything to Bikini Bottom. Is, there's a good chance that your spirit's going to leave your body on that fucking airline. Uh, bikini, what's Bikini Bottom? It's a town. Where? SpongeBob lives in. Oh, uh, not even close. Yeah, it's because it's not real, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not real. But, uh, nope. 
Nope. Going to go to the sponsors. First up, <laughs> ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get yourself a mattress. If you know Randy Quaid, send him one. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get a mattress. Get some pillows. Get a cover. Uh, if you're quading up, get a cover in this life. Uh, 15% off for anybody who is military or a first responder in this world. And as always, they got that 36-month pay-as-you-go program. <laughs> no one is like that. He's holding up a picture of Randy Quaid next to him. Des- it is Dennis fucking, Quaid. Or Dennis Quaid. It is almost identical. Yeah. Jesus you're, Christ. You're, you're very Quaidish. I'm hugely complimented right now. You're like yeah, a you're like you. a 30 to 50 percent gayer Dennis Quaid. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, no, no but that's good because that. he's very hetero. So that's and he's that's not even that bad. He pulls fucking trim, brother. <laughs> and that's wow, there it is. <laughs> Holy that, shit, Jared! That's you in 20 years. <laughs> that's you in five years. That's actually <laughs> yeah. That really is. Hey, stop it! Quaid on no, Quaid. That really is we're funny. The Quaid yeah, we're the Quaid, Quaid brothers. brothers. That's where I was going with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quaid brothers. <laughs> Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and uh, get get in on their Black Friday deals. Um, it's not racist. It's no, just black. Day. Just it's because it's Black Friday, it's it's, it's still you. You can be white and buy this stuff still. Yep. Uh, next up, we got Black Rifle Coffee. Be ready for that Black Friday commercial. Yes, Jared, tell us about it. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's all about the coffee club, but it is an action-packed four to six minutes. I eject out of a fighter jet. Really? Yes. A real one? I mean, uh, there was digitally enhanced pieces to oh, it. But, Jared, you, know. you just didn't care that much then. <laughs> And, you yeah, know, you can't expensive. spend twenty five million dollars on a fighter jet to commit. punch out of it. Poor, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, fucking yeah. white yes. trash. Loser. Get ready for Black Friday because that Black Friday commercial is tits. You guys also sell coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. Uh, what's it's, the new fucking haps? You got the Power Llama. Uh, Evans got a new hat. I just got an email about Evans. Yes, got a new hat Evans. Yeah. Evans. Evans' new hat is out. <laughs> He's dope as fuck. Do it's you have his it? custom design. You yeah. know, that that he. It's like he designed his own favorite hat and now is releasing it as Evans' favorite hat. Actually, I've got the information on it right here because the promo he has, code is the promo Evan, code is Evan hat. He has yeah. a well. He has a new. Uh, there's a new thing that you can do with him. Um, Sexually? Yeah, 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 something like that. It's uh, spiritually. If you text Evan Hat to eight nine five one seven, you get a custom discount code. So no Evan shit. Hat, no space to eight nine five one seven. Get a discount code. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, uh, I'm a huge fan of that hat, by the way. Uh, it's his favorite. I, it's, it's one. Of, it's one of my. I think it's my favorite. You Not guys Donnie's made. favorite. Yeah. I'm wearing. I'm wearing this. Uh, see it. it black on black favorite. right now. You're I'm murdered going, out. I'm going. Black yeah, on, what was it? gray. gray. Yeah, I'm a big, a big fan of all all the apparel. Black I think that's actually one of the best selling hats of all time for this us. Is the it first is, hat yeah. we ever had. Yeah. Big Except, fan of it. Uh, we the original hats, and it, you. This is how you can tell if you had a super OG, OG hat yeah. is because the reticle was originally on the left side, mm-hmm. and we realized when you take selfies, you couldn't see it, so we moved. And most people are right handed. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah. Smart. I didn't yeah. know that. Uh, go to BlackRifleCoffee.com, promo code DRINKINGBROS20. Gets 20% off of everything. Join the club. They got a ton of new shit, Hey, man. do you guys have any uh, Vet TV codes? Uh, like for, n- no. You got anything going on? No. We well, I mean, it no is only right $5 now. a month. It's hard to discount yeah. $5 a month. I love, I love getting messages that ask us for a military discount. Well, I'll, I'll, so I'll tell you this. Like my entire audience yeah, is so, military, so the, the, <laughs> the real shit of it was we had a company <laughs> called Shutter.com on for a while. Um it's like a new uh, horror website. And so it was five bucks a month as well. And they were saying, hey, with the promo code Drinking Bros, you got uh, 30 free days to decide if you like the channel or not. So I didn't know if you had anything like that. No, but that sounds like something we should absolutely set up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Free trial. Yeah. 30 day trial. Some, something, a, some sort of promo code. Um, Drinking that you Bros, guys off get. the top of my head. Yeah. Um, for, for 30 <laughs> days. I, I would do it for I would do it for 15 though, and not because not to limit it, but it's to force the person to actually go watch the shit in that period. Yeah. Like if somebody gets a 30 day trial, often they'll fucking forget. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. No, do, that's right. do it for 15 days, and that way they're like they have to commit. They have to be like, all right, I'm gonna actually gonna go watch this shit because yeah. I know if they watch your shit, they're gonna fucking subscribe because it's fucking funny as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there a big fan. Uh, last up, uh, Raycon buy Raycon.com forward slash drink it bros. Affordable wireless headphones, earbuds, earbuds. Uh, pop them in a box. There. You can chop them up, dude. For you, that's six hours now. Shit, six yeah. hours worth of uh, <coughs> battery life. Loud as fuck. 
Um, everybody's wearing these goddamn things. We reached out to Beats by Dr. Dre, and they were like, no, we're not doing promo codes, any of that bullshit. I was like, cool, your product's the 350. These, with the, the Drinking Bros URL, you get these for 55 bucks. Rain or shine, this shit lasts forever, and uh, they give you a bunch of rubber earpieces, too, in case you yeah. get them all gunked up, or you get, you get cum in them. Technically, it's silicone, but uh, either way. Well, ask your friend. Is that You want to talk about some silicone? Ask this There brand. it is. There He's it is. been pumping through some silicone. You're goddamn right you have. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash stringer bros today. Get your fucking earphones. Donnie, you've been pumping through the silicone. Yeah, Trojan is actually just selling him sheets of it now. Ah, yeah. Uh, it by and he yard. has a heat yeah. gun. So You're making his, your own condoms his, at home. His morning yeah. ritual, yeah, is he has this, this light stand uh, that has a contraption that stretches the uh, the silicone, and then he just walks through it and then heat guns it, and then it, it coats him for the entire day, and he doesn't have to worry about applying a condom if he needs one. Ah, you know what? It's already he has it. He already has it shrink wrapped to it. Here's what to I here's what I want roll. you to try. You can buy uh, you can buy Plan B on Amazon now. Yeah. Right. Buy a bunch, and then <coughs> make sure that during the sexual event, if it's a weekend or just once, at some point you're in the doggy position and you have her asshole exposed, right? And you just put the fucking Plan B Ooh, on your thumb and boy. push it in there. I and then you can blast inside of her and you'll be fine. The, I want you to be as happy as possible. That's what I don't know if that's so legal, into though. an asshole. No, it's the only thing that you really get charged with is practicing medicine without a license, which is not. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're wearing a stethoscope, they'll take three years off your sentence. So. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh God. You ever played a doctor on TV? In one of your shows? I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I played a Navy <laughs> doctor. I want to play a doctor. One of the shows. Can I play fun. A I want to do, I'm actually about to. Uh, we have a show coming up called Devil Docs, uh -huh. and it's uh, it's about a uh, female Navy corpsman going from the blue side to green side, which oh, means boy. she's working in a Marine unit now, and um, it's like Scrubs. It's the, the, oh, that's the, awesome. It's written and the, the the stylistically just like Scrubs, flashbacks and fantasies. And um, but it's in the setting of a uh, Navy corpsman in a greenside BAS, and that shows a coming female out really Navy corpsman. That just that really yeah, we've got a female lead, yeah. Jessica oh. Mandala. Yeah, there you go. she's Great. phenomenal, dude. The one with uh, and Jack. So I'm playing the doctor. <coughs> Jack Point Charlie was was one of my favorites, man. Oh no, no it was, like, it was see, like The Office. I Did think you watch you, no, you're talking about the shop. Yeah, shop. Yes, yeah. yes shop. Yes. yes. Okay. It was it was shot like The Office, and I was like, God damn it, man! It was so fucking good. Did you actually use people from The Office? No, we didn't. Really? No, not at all. Because, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things that, that it's so good that I wonder if you picked off any of their camera guys. I think John Krasinski editors. was no. running the camera for one, um, like B camera, I think. No, I, no? I, I, I wish. <laughs> no, he's um, a really fucking fantastic job. Thank you. That. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. The director shit. of that uh, was fin fantastic. I've actually he, he I've, wrote and directed um, Braden Smith with Greg Kelly. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, they just killed it. I didn't even have any part of that. I was just I'm just the editor in chief of all of our scripts. Yeah, yeah. But they're they're handing me scripts, and I'm just like, this is good, this is good. I've this asked is good like I've bare minimum me. edits, and then they made it was phenomenal. And like everyone who's ever served in the army admin field, even marine admin, uh, they're like, dude, that show nailed my experience mm -hmm. in the military. Because they're all they they're all it. fucking dirtbags. And Jack is a really good actor, man. Jack yeah, I was gonna amazing. say, I, He's I asked, genius. I asked yeah. Rose how yeah. she kept a straight face during that sex scene at, at she his didn't. house. No, she was like, yeah, we had to do like eighty takes on yeah. that because I kept laughing because he was he was like doing that fucking. Oh my god! I remember I was I was there for rehearsals and then I had to leave. <laughs> But I remember watching his hairy gut <laughs> splayed out over her tiny little body. I was like, oh, man. I remember looking at Rose and I was like, come on, stop body shaming. Yeah, Donnie. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, Jack knows who he is. Jack knows who he that's is. Why he, who he is. That's why he well, no, writes no, shit on JT his stomach. JT doesn't want to acknowledge who he is. That's <laughs> what JT this is. Did, does. I, he did a shirtless photo shoot the other night that, was, that crushed on Instagram. Oh, really? Really? I did. Yeah. I did. Did you see the ravioli shoot? No. Yeah, yeah. There was sure ravioli. ravioli. It was involved in ravioli. You know, I you I came to your room last night with a quite a quick, quick ravioli. <laughs> yes, Wait, are you did. traveling with ravioli? I, to yes. Ravioli? I, I just I came to his room. I chugged a quick can of ravioli, and then we went out. Like if you're home and that's just like it's late at night and you're drunk or high or something, and you want to do that. That's one thing. If you're traveling, no, it's throughout the, the country with cans of ravioli, that has become a problem for you, Jared. Mm, it has. That's become now. Enormous. This is now intervention level bullshit. He, he he walked in. I haven't seen him in a long time. I open the door. He's standing there with the can in his hand, and he goes, hi. And he goes to walk by me. And I'm like, 
hey, and I go force a hug around him, and then he <laughs> continues walking away towards the, the sink in the bathroom as he's undoing his, his ravioli, peels the top off, and then starts slurping it. Oh, so oh. you didn't even have a spoon or No anything? fucking God conversation with me. Oh. I'm like a little kid, like, hey, how's it going? Have you been? How's everything? What's up? What's going on? He's not a word, just... <laughs> oh, God. I what? I a little bit. That's a lot, Jerry. No, it's not. Nobody I've has a QR, it, dude. A quick ravioli. A quick no, when you're deployed, that's listen. A thing. I, I was like, I was, I was on, a, I was on a low, and you know, if I needed to answer questions for Donnie, I needed to be properly hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't get hydrated with right. ravioli, bitch. That's not how it works. How no, do you know? How it works. Water. Have you, you ever tested ravioli blood levels? Agua. No. What? Why would I? Who's eating fucking ravioli in someone else's bathroom uh, in the middle of the night? The pilot from fucking uh, A Team. He does. Oh, boy. That What's is... his name? The, the pilot? Yeah. The uh, crazy guy? Murdoch. Yeah. No, Murdoch. Murdoch, Murdoch. Murdoch. yeah. Murdoch, yeah there Murdoch's is. like my hero. Yeah, well. Him and I could share reality. You know, he was mentally ill. That's part of the storyline. And he's Wait, what? dead in real yeah, life. He's yeah, he's mentally ill. I don't think he's dead in real life. That's not true. Well, he's... He is mentally he's ill nah. on the show. No, yeah. no, he's crazy. Yeah, they they recruited the him out of a fucking asylum. Yeah. Yeah, but he was one of the doctors in the asylum. No. Didn't he his coat? Nope. Nope. Not even close. Nope. Donnie, it's nope. cuffing season. Do you know what that is? No. You really? don't? Please tell me. Um, so cuffing season is uh, takes place uh, November, November 1st. November 1st to March 1st. To March 1st. And because uh, it's colder out there, you got to find a lady to lay with mm -hmm. um, for those th that area of months. Both of you guys know what happens. It's agreed <gasps> upon before it happens. Uh, are you a part of that? No. He lives in San Diego, so it, it doesn't get cold there. That's Come right. On. It does not get cold there. Why not? not? Uh, Are you asking why it doesn't get cold in San Diego? No, why isn't he? Why isn't he going to join cuffing season? We have a contract <laughs> that you could use. Okay, yeah. What's Maybe the longest you girlfriend it? you've had? Long term? Three weeks. No. Uh, Name started with an S. A year? Uh, no, it was in like six months. Life? Uh, yeah. Wow, that's that's really long. Yeah. Um, six months. Yeah. What is this? What does she do? What poll is she? Did on she right start now? with an S? What? Um, her name? <laughs> I think she she disappeared to South America. No, I'm <laughs> um, Did her name start with an S? No. No, no. What's that. her full name and date of birth? Yeah. What's her government name? Okay. Easy. Take it easy over here, guys. <laughs> Not calling out any of my previous loves. Why? Loves. No. My loves. Yeah. There's a story. When's that... the last time you had a girlfriend? Yeah, there's a story here. <laughs> I agree. When's the last time you had a These girlfriend? These guys have been conceiving. In the, Ross in just the turned into fucking Bar Barbara Walters. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. getting this Come story. On, I'm, um, I'm curious about your life, Donnie. It's, yeah. it's endlessly fascinating to me. Do you about notice? I heard that story about that girl. I was like, fuck, man. Do you notice? Have it like that? Do you notice how he just? Do you notice <laughs> no. how he just crossed his arms? That's a defensive posture now. It is. I'm like, oh man, Barbara Walters. Open is it covering up. His heart. Open it up. He's covering his heart. You're about yeah. to hurt him. Yeah. Open it up. No, no. Put no. your hands down, you fuck. I, I just don't want. Uh, I just don't want to give out any names of anyone. No, you don't have to give out any names. Use an alias Serena's and tell us yeah. what happened. Just make Serena. it up. Her name's Mary Beth. Serena. Okay, Serena. Serena Mary Beth. Yeah. Okay, I like that. So we're talking about my last girlfriend? Yes. No, the one that disappeared to South America. Oh, no. I, the was, longest one. Whatever the, the longest, longest one is. Longest. Longest or last? God last. damn it. Let's start with Let's last. Go last. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll go longest. Okay, last girlfriend. Oh, boy. I think that was uh, two years ago. Maybe three years ago. Uh, I think Shit. it was three years. I remember it. It was before that. It no. wasn't it wasn't three years. It was three years ago back when I was living uh in my grandmother's sunroom. Yeah. In yeah, San that Diego. Was true. Really? Yeah. Did she enjoy living in the sunroom with you? Uh I don't think she was totally stoked on it. <laughs> uh, and just just she for, accepted it about me. Just for the yeah. audience, you you had silk like Jaguar print sheets back then, right? Oh, yeah. I had for like 15 years. Every flag Actually, from every military unit hung around all four corners of the sunroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. sunroom was sick, but no, I've had animal print since I was like sixteen. I haven't. I'm am a sixteen year old girl to this very day. It's very. You dead. do enjoy Fireball a lot. Fireball, fruity drinks, um, dance music. I dance around my room. Like that's why I like big bedrooms because I dance Loves around them all the time. Fucking to yeah. dance, dude. He wouldn't get off me last night about fucking going dancing. Yeah. I literally went out dancing. You're not. You're real? never. With a bunch of fucking uh, young guys. Um, from the show last night, yeah. there were a bunch of dudes from uh, White Falcons. He's like, that's my second. Yeah, yeah, but they're all like eighteen to twenty-two. Mm -hmm. They were, I think, they were all like twenty-two. Why? Like, when I was like, dancing? I was on the, I and was yeah, on the yeah, seventh uh, were at like, fucking ah. patties in Fayetteville. Oh my god! Yeah, it was a great time. I just had to fucking dance it out. Like, I'm telling you, I'm sixteen. You don't want to go, you don't really go dancing 16. with me after this? I'm like, what? No, I don't. Want I, to sit at this why would I want to go dancing? I'm like, because it's fun. I've never had a guy say, "Hey, you will never, you will never talk." 
an adult heterosexual man into going dancing with you, Donnie. No. I've done it many times. No, you haven't. They're gay. Yes. Oh, and so maybe. Are you. Well, maybe, maybe. That's gay. Man. Have you Sorry. thought about trying to date a dude in 2020? No. Just try it. No, but I've, I've, I've actually been talking about this for a while. I want to start tried it? a pro-gay therapy. Because you know how there's like some crazy Christian Gay conversion shit therapy. That's like, yeah. yeah, gay yeah, conversion, yeah. right? Conversion. I want to make the pro-gay therapy to convince me to be gay so that I could just fucking date Work. a dude and it'd yeah. be so much fucking easier. You but can I, just I need, do it. I, need, I, need, I, think, I need some I therapy in 2020, you and I make a bet and we see who could pull a hotter dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's what? Donnie. Down. No, Donnie, it's not. It, yeah, it's Donnie. No, it's not. No, because, because a hot dude doesn't want competition, motherfucker. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. That's right. how he picks up he other hot right. dudes. He brings the fat, ugly friend. So yeah. fuff. So <laughs> what's what's the what do you win? Huh? Like the loser has to oh, pay we're for gonna the win. win. We're gonna win. Yeah, we're gonna win dicks. No, I'm, I'll, yeah. what, Here's what I think we're gonna win happen. a life partner. The loser should yeah. have to pay for the winner's wedding. Yes, agreed. Okay. To a man. Actually, no, I'm not agreeing to that. I don't have any money. You've already said you agree to it, bitch. You already said, I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not an expensive wedding planner, Tony. Yeah, no, okay. he just okay, needs okay, a couple okay, of hot dogs in a fucking bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Fucking we'll do, we'll do outside of a barn. One ways to sandals. No, we'll inclusive. do it on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> One ways, because this is going to be a murder-suicide. On the beach. <laughs> <laughs> in San Diego, we'll just do it on the beach in San okay. Diego. Okay, I dig that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you live in, in little, San Diego, like the I red do. light district and all that shit? No. Gaslight? Gaslight. No, I don't like crowds. <laughs> I don't like city. any of that I shit. I live think... on a lake, like this <laughs> it is amazing beautiful. You're, yeah, you're lake right. home, yeah. That's oh, awesome. It's super sick, and I, it's away from people, and it, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere, but I'm only 15 minutes away from Is crowds. it just you, or other people live with you? I live with Jessica Mandala, one of our writer, director, actors, um, and then, uh, oh yeah, he's a big fan. Yeah. And, uh, Why did you say it like that? It just said, the way no, because he's it, just a, a big fan. You just you just ah, stared at me. It was like he's there. a big fan, yeah. big fan. And then you looked, you, you licked your lips. <laughs> did you have sex with her? What is that? No, no, no. Jared. I know this to be fact. She's, he does. She's, she's, she's one of my best friends. Okay, I know and she would have, she would have recounted that awful, awful experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She. We would have heard. She would have done an impression of the she, cause she's a brilliant impressionist. She would have done an impression of the whole thing, and we'd been stitches, and yeah, hopefully would have filmed something about it by now. Who does she do? So no, what does she do? I uh, know impression wise. Who does she do? Um, all of us. <laughs> really? The guy, the guy, her friends, us. That's funny. The, the vet TV guys. She j- will rip us apart. Yeah. She's magnificent. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah, How did you guys meet? Um, on set, she uh, she played the role of a, a Muslim woman. On a Muslim, all woman Muslim talk show, <laughs> it's uh, called the Viewpoint, <laughs> and, and um, there's like a guard that's standing there, like making sure they say what they're supposed to say, and the women are like, as soon as they get out of line, they get like rocks thrown at them. <laughs> no way, yeah, that's funny. dude, that's, you'd love it. It's your kind of humor. That's really yeah, offensive. We, we took it way, way over the top offensive. It fuck, it was, it's magnificent. Oh shit! Since yeah. we're talking about offensive humor, I, yes, this is the first time we saw each other in person since the whole trans Frank thing happened. Oh yes, you told me you would tell me. Fuck man. So that was a, an nth hour decision of like, hey man, you guys shouldn't make this fucking movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it got real close. What was it? Probably thirty six hours away from that that Indiegogo going up. I don't know. The page was built. Everything was built. And then uh, we got a kill call on it. But everybody wanted to see you as trans Frank. I think we're going to do it now. And that poster. That it's poster. Still an amazing poster. Still the greatest. You still, poster. you still would make the best trans Frank ever. Uh, thank you. I would love to play the role. I yeah. really and would. I don't know Let's why. Let's do it this year. I don't know well, why this is not empowering to both the trans community and the Anne Frank community. And the zombie community. Yeah. Is there a, wait, I'm sorry. Is there an <laughs> Anne Frank community out there? <laughs> yeah, there's Frankophiles. Yeah. We talk about this all the time. Yeah, yeah but I don't know. Uh, they're, Frank, they're, Fra- yeah, yeah, they're Frankalites. I don't know um, that there's an Anne Frank community. Believers. For, for Frank Leavers. Hashtag Attic Life. I no, have been wanting Anne Frank to, was a believer. Um, yeah. to say that. Uh, start building relationships within the transgender community. Uh-huh. Um, as a means of setting myself up to play transgender roles. Yeah. Well, we have one in a in a in a way that what they didn't feel like was bashing them. Like I wanted them to get behind it because I did it that well. Like I had I want to research their life. Have you met Donna and recreate from... their tragedy? Like the the true miserable ex- experiences that things that yeah. they deal with, but bring it out in a in a in a comedic way that they could laugh at and see as bringing light to their cause, but. Through comedy, so that's what happened with Helen Keller versus Nightwolves. Like initially, there was some backlash over that, and then everybody was like, "Actually, man, it's pretty fucking hilarious and cool that she's a hero, like superhero in this movie." Yeah. So I didn't get any, I didn't get any heat from that. 
Now, Trans Frank's a different story because there was a four-minute scene of uh, a German doctor sewing on a dick to Anne Frank. I mean, you see the dick, too. Um, what? Yes. Stop. And Jared plays... Your, by the way, Jared plays your brother. I plays your brother. Yeah. Okay. He yeah. plays Dan Frank. Dan Frank. <laughs> and he won't <laughs> stop eating chips. And I'm eating Doritos. Which <laughs> loud as <laughs> shit <laughs> in the <laughs> attic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, loud as shit. And they're like... Stop eating! Stop eating chips! And he's like, <laughs> "I'm hungry." And it's like they're gonna fucking find us. And he's, like, "I don't care." Once I finish the bag, I finish the bag. So he's your brother, and then, you know, wow, yeah, yeah. And I mean, this, this was really well thought out, right? Yeah. And so we got we got spiked at the last minute. It was a group decision and whatever, right? So the, and the reason why I bring this up today too, not only because you're are you in studio, <coughs> but I wanted to get your thoughts because we were talking about this before going on air about having OJ Simpson on. Oh, yeah, you got to fucking have him on. So is that a yes? Because this is starting to get real now. And like, we, I don't know. And I asked some friends and we pitched it. We're going to pitch it to the audience now. Would you be pissed off, yes or no, about having OJ Simpson on the show? You said no. I don't. I mean, this audience is used to. I mean, look at these book. Look at I these book I, covers. I think so, too. <laughs> like, I think so, too. The brand is that there is no line to comedy. That we are going to find anything in life, no matter how horrible and tragic. And we are going to make comedy of it. That's what I that's, feel. That's everything I that this say, is. Yeah, I just, I, I, What's your I, thoughts, I would, Jared? If we had him on, I would want us to be polite. Yeah, we, we never bring anybody on and yeah, try I don't to like, ambush, ambush them or anything. Yeah, shit. we don't ambush yeah, anybody. Yeah, I know. I just, I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the, the, the dude fucking probably faces it everywhere he goes. It's like, we could, we could be nice. Uh, so anybody out there listening at home, just write in to <laughs> Drinking Bros on Facebook and let us know if you think we should have O.J. Simpson on the show. Um. And then Trans Frank, look, we're we're gonna shoot janitors next summer. Yep, we're gonna do an Indiegogo in March for that. We just we just set it. Uh, Derek White is in it. Dan's Can I get a in role? it. Jared's in it. Yes. Would you like to be in? I would love to a role, please. Yes. Anytime you go is good to create anything. I uh, I I miss acting very much, and I would love uh, I would love the chance. So anytime you guys come up with something. Please. Why have you not acted that much recently? Uh, because I'm too busy trying to you know Producing. be an entrepreneur and run the business and I gotta edit all the scripts and I gotta go market our movies. Uh, so I don't have the time to do that, which probably I think makes me the most happy if I'm being honest about it. Acting? Yeah. Yeah. I, that's why I ask because once you start producing all this shit, God damn it, man, it just wears on you. Yeah. Like, yep. It's a million phone calls, a million problems, lawsuits, you know. Never stops. Ever. Never stops. Hiring new employees mm -hmm. uh, constantly. I'm surprised. You, you haven't gotten any paperwork from the DOD at all. No. Really? No paperwork. We've had no lawsuits. That's crazy. nothing like, of the sort. Like yeah. We did one Christmas commercial. Movie. I know. Yeah. I know. With army, with an army uniform, and we were hit fast. Yeah. Really. Like day later. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Now, we've been banned from Camp Pendleton. I do know that much. That's sad. Yeah. Why? What was the What was the reasoning? Do um, I don't know. I, I we were talking about this last night. Uh, Vet TV was born. The Kickstarter came, cam, uh, campaign came out um, right after the whole Marines United thing. Mm. Like Marines United and Mendelton were, you know, these Facebook groups that are just really, really misogynistic and. Well, yeah, they're they're <laughs> distributing nudes, nudes of Marines of, and things uh, like that. Like military gotcha. women and stuff like that, and um, it's just a really bad culture that existed there. That the Marine Corps was totally shamed. I was a na nasty black eye for them, so they thought that we were we associated <laughs> the, us with those other groups, and we're like, no, we're we're filmmakers trying to make a television network and. So they ended up uh, busting several people who uh, had acted with us, mm -hmm. and I ended up going and standing in front of a battalion commander at 7th Engineer Support Battalion and, and defending this Marine who acted in our stuff. And I'm like, look, he didn't understand the context. He didn't understand it would it would it'd be like this. I created this. I put the opportunity in front of him, and, if, and because he enjoyed the comedy, he wanted to be there for it, uh, and so I should be the one to, you know, to wear responsibility for this here, please don't hammer this young Marine. Um, and then uh, it turned into a conversation with, with her and the first sergeant, or the, or the sergeant major, and then uh, I got them laughing <laughs> at some point in it. And then his level of punishment came way down. Like, it was almost nothing uh, after that. So after that, someone else got interrogated, looking f for information about me um, by CID. So I hear that all and of CIS? these... NCIS or CID is, is like looking for information on me and they think I'm another Marines United threat. And then I thought I saw a Marine officer at our, our first live showing in San Diego. 
And I went up and talked to him, and I just got this sense. I'm like, this guy's got fucking Marine officer, mm. you know, colonel-level officer written all over his fucking body language. And, uh, and I talked to him for a little bit, and I was just killing him with kindness. You know, did you enjoy the show? Did you like the message that we had? You know, because we're making comedy out of tragedy. Sure. We're picking the most serious issues in the military community and making parodies of them and promoting conversation with it. And so I'm kind of like driving the message home with this guy. And he's like, yeah, 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 and he left. Not too long after that, uh, we didn't hear anything more about, from the Marine Corps about us. Then after the Vice piece came out in 2017, I think, um, we heard that through uh, someone we have up in headquarters Marine Corps, some Marine officer walks into a room and gets, stands in front of a, a group of other officers and is just like, I want them gone now. I don't give a shit what it That's takes. That's amazing. I, I want them I... gone now. And, uh, and so this, this, this person tells us, says, hey, I was just in a meeting where this Marine officer walked in the room and said this. And, and you know, so I'm, I own the business. I'm, you know, shitting my pants, not knowing what's going to happen. Are we going to get an injunction put on us against by the Marine Corps? That means we have to, like, take our stuff down. And does what happens in my business if that happens? Right. So um, nothing ended up coming of it. The guy said, yeah, they talked about it one other meeting, and then they never brought it up again. And then we went to do an event on Camp Pendleton, and someone above the people setting up the event said, no, they are never welcome here aboard Camp Pendleton. Wow. After, the, after like all the plans were set, we were going to sponsor an event, and I was going to do uh, an, another event in the library because the librarian's there. They're like trying to bring Marines into mm-hmm. their library, and they're like, well, let's get Donnie O'Malley here to you know, get on a mic. And they had the fucking, like, the thing, like, they had uh, bigger attendance expected than ever. And uh, they shut it all down. So No shit. So, yeah, Marine Corps is not a fan. Man. Uh, let me ask you this, because I, I heard a rumor that your movie actually got banned from Amazon. Is that yes. True? Yes. It, the whole point of, of repackaging the show into a movie mm-hmm. was to sell it on Amazon to a, a wider audience. Yeah. Open up the audience up. Because I'm, 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 I'm like, there's so many hardcore cult fans of the show. Mm-hmm. Like diehard motherfuckers, yeah. Because the show is it gives them such a gnarly humor from the <laughs> from the infantry life that it just it hasn't hit the world in a, in a show like an actual scripted show. And I'm like, I know there's a bigger audience for this thing among civilians. I'm thinking about at least the the, the paintball crowd, anyone who plays Call of Duty, <laughs> yeah. The horror zombie Look, crowd, Range Fifteen man, the whole Range Fifteen crowd, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, like I wanted to be when someone comes to Range Fifteen, um, the first movie that says uh, recommended, recommended for, you. Yeah. for you would be more a like life. this film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, and and Amazon kanked it. They they said no. What, did you get a letter or anything? No. How did it happen? Uh, we just got a message. So you upload it yourself. <laughs> yep. And then they have they go through their QC process, mm-hmm. and the, whoever is in the cubicle doing the QCing clicked the button for no reason. Um, offensive content, and that was it. Wow! So can't I, upload, can't appeal. I got the same thing with my that the second book. Yeah, and he was telling me. What what happened was enough drinking bros called into Amazon and bitched, and the band got overturned after about three and a half weeks. Do you have a number they can call? Because we'll get our guys to do it right now. No, for they were life. just calling customer service. Um, and that's so. Here's the thing about <laughs> Amazon, and and a lot of companies are doing this intentionally. And Jared, you could probably speak more on this. Is they're not giving out their numbers anymore. They would rather you email. Or talk to, you know, that box yeah. that pops up in the corner yeah. where it's just yeah. like live chat with Kathy. Yeah. Because they don't want any human interaction because of how negative things get, obviously. Mm. We get heated during shit. Um, and uh, and they, they're trying to eliminate that. So you're just talking to a robot. And then once you do talk to them. So Amazon customer service, you can get up to about three levels, right? And then they refer you to somebody that eventually calls you back at a higher up level. Well, what happened was is everybody called in and three and a half weeks later... They got tired of taking the phone calls, and uh, and they eventually released it. But I, and I'm not sure if somebody read it or same thing with your movie. I'm not sure if somebody watched it or or whoever it was. But like, um, eventually it does get overturned when you're like, all right, you start to question things. I'm really surprised though that it happened to you, um, mm. because by by all. I guess the reviews that everybody's told me so far, it is not as aggressive as Range 15 as far as like tearing a dick off or fucking a zombie and things like that. Like, and that was mm. Range 15 was. You do jerk off with a severed hand. Yeah. And you guys fuck a dead body. We did yeah. fuck a dead uh, Taliban. 
Okay, I'm going to take you back to that severed hand thing. Yeah. Uh, was it yours or someone else's severed hand? Uh, someone else's severed hand. Great. Do we see your penis in it? Yes. There's why you got banned, uh, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> your actual dick? <coughs> the, real, the real dick. Yeah, but it's not hard. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, no, no, no. So, yeah, but you also okay, no, do no. A, like a, I, I've <laughs> never seen a, a a dump before on someone's face. Yeah, yeah. And so you that, dump on someone's face. That, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That might yeah. be the whoa. first. The Who first... took a shit on someone's face? You did. On I did. Whose face? Uh, my company commanders. In the movie, yeah, it was a fantasy that my character had. I bet, I bet. <laughs> now we're starting to get into why you probably got. Banned. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't no. see it. Uh, you just, that. you just see something hit his face. Hey, by oh, the way, right. so the Amazon customer service number is one. There we go. Eight 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 two eight zero four three three one. So I want you guys to go Wait, on there. Hang on, uh, bring that up again because I, I didn't hear it out of out of this year. Yeah. Sorry about that. I got maybe a sickness or something. Yep. Just repeat that yep. number again. It's one eight 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 two eight zero. Four three three one. Uh, Jer- hang on, J- uh, Jared. Did you hear that? Because you were. It looked like you were paying attention. No, I was. I was writing it. Can down. you read that? Oh, my so bad. Jared, just Jared. One more time. Uh, is everybody ready? Yep. Uh, it's one eight 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 two eight zero four three three one. Now that's Amazon's customer service number. I want you guys Great. to call them and tell them that we want a grunt life on there on right, Amazon, goddamn yeah. now. Is it uploaded right now? Yes. Uh, including the closed captioning. Yes. Because I know this process. So, yes, all right. Sir. So it's there. And it just, it's probably a half moon or, you know, you know it's whatever just all the way up. It's just money, yeah. Amazon. It's yeah. just money. Yeah. It's just money you're leaving Like, on the this table. is stuff that we want to see. Put it on there and stop fucking around. There yeah. is an audience of people who, who appreciates this humor because their minds have been fucked by the military The experience. movie Teeth is on there. Yeah. It's about a young yeah. woman who has teeth in her vagina. She keeps getting raped. And every time it happens, her vagina teeth bite the dude's dick yeah, off. Yeah, bite dicks off. I've never seen so many severed dicks in a movie in my life. Like, yeah. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Amazon. Even centipede, you know, bitches. You know what I think it is? I think that there's a lot of people who feel that the military experience, that, or that co- the combat experience, war, is sacred. Yeah, it's supposed to be Can't romantic or whatever. No, it's not romantic. It's war. fucked up. Yeah, and it's the super movie. Fucked. Jared and I walked around and killed 40 dogs one day because the, the veterinarians <laughs> told us that they had too many diseases. That's, That's a real thing. So, it's, so it, it's fucked up. So yeah. you say that in Chernobyl, uh, there was a, three guys who were just sent to, to shoot 400 dogs. Yeah, That's dude. All they were doing. It's fucked up. the dogs were diseased. That's like yeah. they come in and test a certain number of the dogs. If they have enough diseases or the right kind of disease, you have to kill and burn all of them. And we are Americans. We love dogs like yeah, the children we love here. Dogs. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. That's what war is. It's not fucking. Oh, it's not like some dude holding his buddy as he's as he's bleeding out. That's not what it is. Yeah. I mean, part of it is that, but most of it is boredom, masturbating, and fucking porta shitters and killing dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah. War is fucked up. And we have, and if, if we have to live through it, then we should be able to make the comedy about it that we fucking want. Fuck you, Amazon, for even stepping on that. That's all right. Fuck you. Right? That's funny. Tell, I'll tell God Alex bless to that you, Dan. God, I want to yeah. give you a fucking big hug right now. We will do that later. No, yes. yeah, you got a microphone in front of you. Come That's on, great, okay. uh, Donnie. This is the point in the show we get to the drinking bro of the week. That is there somebody who inspired Donnie. you or helped you to get to where you are today. I know you've been on a couple of times and you've done this. So, yeah. um, but it always changes because mm-hmm. you know, look, yeah. you usually come on once a year, twice a year. Yeah. I'm sure there's new people in your life that are that are making a difference right now. Ones that Who show like up late at night to? in your hotel room and chug ravioli. Yeah. Not oh, you. are you are you campaigning for Drinking <laughs> Bro of the Week right right now? Week? On your own goddamn bro. show? You created Drinking Bros. <laughs> <laughs> he's got me. He's got me tempted now. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ravioli woo. Yeah. yeah it happens, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, considering what you guys just did right now in your show for uh, our movie. I'm like, no, nope. give it to somebody else. Give it to somebody else. We're not that important. Okay. We're not okay. that important. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, and it's, it's so, it should be a member of your community that everyone's familiar with? No. No, your, it can be your anybody. Your own personal life. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, then you know what? I got to go with, uh, got to go with my dad. There you go. My dad. He, your dad was a Navy surgeon or some shit, right? No, he, a was a, he was a Marine infantry officer first. Yeah. And then he became a doctor in the Navy for another 20 years. What kind of doctor? Just a general uh, internal medicine. Internal medicine, yeah. yeah. Um, and then he was the <laughs> director of medical services at Balboa Hospital for seven years, including while I was in combat. And so when friends of mine were getting shot and blown up, I would... <sighs> I would send my dad an email, hey, my buddy Mike just got shot, mm. and I would, I would write him a little uh, letter to read to my friend. 
and uh, I wrote him a couple letters. Oh, I, it just hit me. I should find these. Yeah. And uh, and he would read them to them. And the letters always were, were funny, basically making fun of my friends who were just shot or blown up. And uh, I got to share that experience with my dad. And now he's helping me uh, run this business. He's been serving as our controller, handling our money, really just being dad to a business yeah. full of young guys trying to figure it out. And lately he's been really stepping his game up <laughs> and uh, just on top of so many things that are really helping us stay afloat. So um really really appreciate my dad hell yeah there's uh, this rumor yeah. that you snuck into your dad's office and fucked with some of your own medical records to make <laughs> sure that you could get in the marine corps is that true yes or no uh it might be i didn't i did not see it in his office it was, it, I, I walked into babo hospital mm -hmm. and i it was it was brilliant they had their, their records department back then was all paper so i asked <laughs> to see my records yeah and um I, I at this point i couldn't join the marine corps because um i had asthma i had bad asthma and so that is real. Yeah. Huh. That, and I, as, as an officer, that's immediate no-go. And I mean, I was, I was using my inhaler almost once a day because uh, I had a bad allergies too. Mm -hmm. And I was, I'm total bubble boy. So I, I went into the, uh, <laughs> to the records office. My stack was like this big because I had 10 years of records there from my, when my dad being stationed there. And uh, I said, you know what? It's going to take me a long time. Do you mind if I, uh, do you mind if I just, I'll just call you when I'm done? He's like, yeah, sure, dude. So he walks away, and I take out every piece of paper that says something about my asthma, and then I stick it in my backpack, and then hand him the thing back. It's like half the size now. <laughs> he didn't even notice. <laughs> Idiot. And then, um, and then went to the Marine Officer Recruiter's office, and I was like, hey, I'd like to be a Marine officer. And they're like, okay, cool. Let's see your paperwork, and here you go. So I was able to get in. Um, and that's why I, it's just like fucking... Where there's a will, there's a way, dude. Yeah. So let me ask you this: yes. did, did did you have to use an inhaler then to, while you were in the military? No, no. I would before I went in, I I was trying to like teach myself how to not use it, and I actually put myself through several asthma attacks, where I just talked myself through them, and it was really just all about controlling my anxiety as they happened. And I realized if I can control my anxiety during an asthma attack, it'll relax my bronchioles, and I'll get just enough air in to then cough up the mucus that's building up. Mm -hmm. And um, and I can get myself through an attack. And so I did that multiple times. I would stick my face in a cat and then go run really fast. So Which part of the cat? Uh, just just anywhere. Just more, you know, like under, under, underneath the tail. No, I'd probably say just the back, you know, for future stories. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's not talk about even cat ass. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, that... I, didn't, I, I knew going into to OCS, I was just like, I can't bring an inhaler. And if, you, if I have an attack and I go down, if you call for an inhaler, you're, you're done. Because it happens all the time. It's like ringing the bell. Yeah, yeah. once every few cycles, you know, so <gasps> I, need, I have asthma. And then drill instructors are like, I fucking knew it, you bitch motherfucker. <laughs> and then they'll go get the inhaler and then they kick him out. Yeah. So I knew, I was like, going into OCS, I'm, I'm willing to die because I'm not calling for my inhaler. Mm. Not going to fucking happen. And so that's why I had to experience a couple of attacks and know that I could get through them before going into it. That's crazy. Cool. I didn't yeah. know that about you. Yeah, yeah it was great. So but tell us where time. people can find you and Vet TV and uh, particularly the movie. Yeah. Since it's yeah. out on Amazon. Where can people find A Grunt's Life to, to buy, rent, watch? Okay. <laughs> so um, everyone, please go to agruntslife.com. Um, hit the buy now button. and You can buy it on either Vimeo On Demand mm -hmm. or on Vet TV. Either one. And on both of them, you can... Uh, you can download it like for offline viewing on your tablet and phones. Um, and then you can watch on a browser anywhere. So at gruntslife.com, uh, awesome. that's, that's the place to go. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Donnie, this is an awesome show, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wait, so you can buy through the Vet TV app too? Yeah, through the Vet oh, TV dope. app. So, and you, have, you guys have an app for most smart TVs and all that shit. Yeah. So the, our, our app is on Xbox now. Yep. It's on Roku, um, Android, Apple. I think that's it. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Good. All, all the stores. Hell you can yeah, get dude. that TV and watch it on everywhere you go. And uh, especially for the infantry guys, you know, coming into this movie, um, it's like the same. It's everything that we fantasized about, that we joked about, the stories that we would tell each other with this like ridiculous, outrageous sense of humor. It's like everything that existed back in the grunts and behind closed doors is now told in the story of a Marine platoon on a patrol base. With a guy who just wants to kill his boss and bust a nut. Yeah. 
That's everybody in this world, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so kind of relatable. <laughs> Donnie, uh, you're a fucking awesome guy. I know we joke around Love all the you. time. But you're a fucking great dude, man, in real life. And uh, we'll get you in janitors. Thank you. We, we please. I'm dead do serious. Anything. All right, great. Awesome. So we'll I get you in janitors. Love, please. Uh, go rent or buy a Grunt's Life on Vet TV or a Grunt's Life.com. For Jared Taylor, Donnie O'Malley, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. We're the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. See you guys. Bye. Appreciate you very much. Bye.